All right. Uh, first impressions of that transformation scene. Not too bad. My only gripe is uh, Tiki didn't show up there. And of course, what you saw earlier, that dump truck. So, did any of you ever experience Deja Vu two years later? I know I have. How's it going into Bien 13 here? And some of you may remember I have made a video or two on Miraculous Rise of the Sphinx. And I would admit that game does have its flaws and stuff. Yet again, when I heard that they were making a new game, game, I was suspicious about it. Almost suspicious that I actually ended up getting the game despite it not receiving any reviews and also I just sort of happened to be a sucker on miraculous video games. I have some feelings that Paris Under Siege would be better than the last game because if not then why isn't Game Mill out business if all of their games are trash? Plus, in my defense, if Zack could afford to develop this game with a better game studio, then it could go well noticed by the gaming community. All of that aside, I did got the game yesterday, and this time around, I got it on PS5, because even if they also have the Switch version available. I thought I would make some changes since I do have a PS5. And if I don't think this would be better on that console, then you lucky that I also got this game. But that's another story. Speaking of stories, when I did get this game from Day Blitz, the first time I did ask the workers if they did have it, and they told me that they did, but when I asked for it again after getting a quick haircut, they didn't. And I was just about to plan on getting it online. That's why I would say if I didn't convince the workers to double or triple check if they do, and they got oblivious to know that they actually have a copy in the counter where I was going to purchase Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Well, that out of the way, I think it's about time we open up this game. So here's the game one more time. Uh, this is actually the uh, European uh, copy of the game. And the last time I actually got Rise of Sphinx, it was actually the English copy, which is why the uh, rating is a bit different. And like I mentioned before, I got the PS5 version this time around because I had Rise of the Sphinx on Switch. I thought I would still get this on a different platform, although a majority of people who did got this game might actually get on Switch because they're broke. <laughs> but all that aside, I think we should open this uh, up. So, just going to open it from here. Moving this wrapping so I can show you the rest of the box without the glare. And here it is again. Miraculous Paris Under Siege. So, uh, one more look at the box. We have... Uh, Labor, Cat and War, Tiki and Plague on the front, uh, the side, probably a continuation of the front art. Uh, the back just shows you what the game has in store in different languages. I heard you can also play as the other uh, Miraculous Holders in this game. Uh, yeah, so 
opening this one up. Straight up no manual and the disc is literally like this. So it does have the European Peggy and the PG Australian uh rings. So yeah, that's basically the game. So I think it's about time I try this out on my PS5. Alright, uh, I just got the game installed on my PS5, and this is what the icon looks like. Uh, I just put it in, so I just need to let download, so I'll see you once this is done. Alright, the game's now uh, installed, so let's run it. By the way, the reason on uh, why I'm recording on my phone instead of uh, using OBS or something. It's mostly because my PS Remote Play app still isn't responding well, and I don't really feel like setting up my OBS up down here. So, uh, here's me. Sorry, yep. Uh, I can change things, like a credit. I think it just straight to play. Start a new game. Surely you know that the origin of Paris is tied to Aset, the Egyptian goddess, Mr. Mayor. Hmm, really? But I mean, of course, I knew that. For years, for years, archaeologists have discovered numerous artifacts showing that the people here worshipped Aset during the Rome. And this remarkable piece is the definitive proof that Paris's true origins are, in fact, partially Egyptian. I'm familiar with the legend of Miss Bustier, but to tell you the truth, I'm a little more concerned about tomorrow's opening. Everything is under control, Mr. Mayor. Anya will host the exhibition with a fantastic show, music from Mino and Luca, a reenactment play, and to top it all off, delicious macarons from Tom and Sabine's Bakery. Oh yes, the reenactment. Hmm, who will play a set again? Actually, that's yet to be decided. Zoe and Aurora are eager to... Then it's settled. My darling stepdaughter Zoe will take the role. But wait, what about Aurora? She really wants that part too, and... Listen, Mr. Agrest may have facilitated this exhibition by lending us the centerpiece, but it's up to me to approve its funding. You wouldn't want to go against my decisions, would you? I... I suppose not. Then we agree. Zoe will play the part. Oh, amazing! It should be a day to remember. Most of the cutscenes are a little uh, glitch, but not too shabby for the uh, other parts. And the voice acting's a little off. But controlling Marionette now. This feels pretty alright. Uh, I did hear that most of this game is actually open world, and I'll just see on that. So, press R1 to talk to Sabine. Sweetheart, are you still here? Weren't you supposed to deliver the macarons to the exhibition? Yes, I know. I was going through my photos and stumbled upon pictures of Adrian. It's not my fault. I just couldn't peel myself away from the screen and completely lost track of time. Marinette, you don't want to miss your best friend's exhibition. And what kind of opening would it be without guests enjoying macarons? You're right. 
Plus, I want to be there when Alia starts live streaming the event. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good. Now go see your father for the macarons. I must head out for some shopping at Olympian. Our fridge is almost empty. Oh, you're heading to Chinatown? Could you please grab a bubble tea for me? I was planning to, sweetie. Half sweet, cold, with extra boba, right? That's exactly it, Mom. You know me too well. I better go now or I'll miss the opening. Take care, sweetie. And please, be careful on your way to the exhibition. Alright, so then it's literally us talking to Sabim. Uh, I can collect these blue orbs. Uh, yeah. This game feels pretty fine, other than the uh, glitch lines I'm seeing. Uh, this is literally the car from the uh, Miraculous movie I just noticed. Here you go, Marinette. These are your macarons for your friend's exhibition. Dad, don't you think it's awesome to know that Paris has Egyptian origins? <laughs> it might be a bit of a stretch to say that, you know. The ancient Egyptians probably never made it this far. From the cult of our set, yes. Many cultures have shaped this incredible city that is Paris. The Gauls, then the Romans, were familiar with Arsene in their time. And then there were the Franks, and even the Vikings. Although, the Vikings didn't behave very well, but uh, that's another story. And look, today the whole world flies to Paris, only to appreciate what centuries of blending different cultures have perfected. I know. Top of the game fashion? I'm talking about baguettes and croissants, of course. Alright, really so gone here in the first place, but that's literally uh, Marinette's dad all the way over there. I don't know if the blue orbs are. <laughs> this guy's definitely from out of town. Alright, I don't know if the blue orbs are a sign that it should head into a Pacific uh, area. But. It's just there. I can jump an X, yeah. Something's definitely weird. I'd better transform. The macarons will have to wait. <laughs> Alright, uh, first impressions of that transformation scene. Not too bad. My only gripe is uh, Tiki didn't show up there. And of course, what you saw earlier, that dump truck. I tried to keep it PG as possible, but still. Going to here. I would say the controls feel a lot better than Rise of the Sphinx. Uh, I can roll and. Yeah, I can sprint, jump, and double jump to reach far off places. Not too shabby, I would say. Now I'm following whoever those things are. And now we're on to battling him. Oh, 
Alright. Now follow your guy. Okay, more of these blue orms. So again, I'm supposed to go here. Press triangle okay, for a special attack. All I need to do is push that button. That should ah. the robot. Alright, so I can extend Laybug's yo yo with a uh, triangle. Alright, the elevator is back online. You can use that wall to rebound and jump even higher. I can wall jump here. Yeah, I can do the controls on this game feel pretty. See better in compared to uh, Rise of Sphinx. Like, if Rise of Sphinx really were an action adventure game like this, it wouldn't be a lot better of a game. In fact, I don't know if Zag will continue to make more miraculous games on console at least after this. But if they would, like I mentioned before, they should have uh, collabed with a different uh, game studio to make it better. All in all, I would say as someone who likes uh, action adventure games like this, this feels quite swell. I can also... That's actually pretty sweet when I uh, do a combo and literally just do whatever that does. There are some red orbs, I don't know what they do. Uh, I think it's let's go this way. And I uh, here. Okay, there's what's the status, Ladybug? We've seen a bunch of weird goons on our way, but there's been no sign of an akumatized villain. Loud and clear, we'll be covering your backs from here on out. Whenever the situation calls for it, just give us a shout and we'll be right there to pull off our signature moves. Sounds great. All right, let's dispatch. All right, sorry, I just cut, cut scene right there, but we actually saw uh, some of the other heroes being Rena Rouge, uh, Viperion, Vesperia, and Carapace, if I'm not mistaken. And now we're going through here. Getting more Yuzorns. Uh, I actually fall off here. Maybe I could just. I would admit the gameplay feels more uh, fluid. Again, it might just be me using uh, the PS5 version of this game. I don't know if the Switch could also do that, or any other platforms could feel like this. But yeah, fine off. Combat's really intriguing, I would say. I think I should uh, go through this other one right here. And 
and uh, I wouldn't actually, uh, I don't know how, how can I uh, disable the pause menu song, but I think I could stop right here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.